Hello, everybody. All grey here. We're having a quick look at Echo of Soul. Uh, some nice person uh, let me know that the uh, open beta was starting. I think it's the open beta, or that it was released. Uh, Warrior, I can't think of the number he had after it, but thanks for it anyway, mate. Um, so I, th I thought I'd download it and have a quick look. So I downloaded it yesterday, uh, tried to install it, had a hell of a time with it. Uh, something we wouldn't install Akamai networking or something like that. So ended up going into the the file and manually starting it as admin and all kinds of <laughs> rubbish <laughs> to get it started and downloaded. So eventually I got it downloaded and here we are. Um, I thought I'd have a quick look at the character creation screen first of all. Uh, so we've got a warrior, a rogue, guardian, sorceress. It looks like these are all uh, gender locked for the uh, different classes. Okay, and an archer. So you have to be a female for that, female for that, female for that. Uh, roll looks like a, I think it's a male. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And a male warrior. All right, okay, let's have a look. And we have difficulties, a berserker difficulty and a protect difficulty, four and two. Wow, so that's a hard difficulty for the tank type. Rogue, we have a duelist, an assassin, and this I'm not sure if this music is real loud to you, but it is to me. Uh, duelist, uh, chain attack deal massive damage. Assassin, I take it that'll be the stealth, will it? Treacherous poison is an assassin's signature. Guardian, this is something that I normally play. We have a storm guard. Powerful elemental attacks inflict constant damage over wide areas, so it's like an AoE uh, class by the look. And a hearty class that acts as a secondary defender in party battles. A secondary defender? Okay, so that would be the main defender then. The protector. Right, so we'll probably go we'll probably go for that after we've had a look at all these. A sorceress? Well, we know what that is, don't we? The witch with a spark of magical genius. The sorceress uses long range fire and ice magic to deal massive damage, ending battles quickly and efficiently. Well, it might be worth me having a look at this. It's a long time since I've played a mage, apart from in Rift, as you know. Uh, flame mage difficulty 3. This nuker takes the offensive. By mastering fire marks. Her incinerating attacks have no I believe falls no place to hide. And then we have a difficulty four ice mage. Stops enemies in their tracks with a variety of AoE attacks that accumulate ice marks to increase attack power. Okay. Archer, I've never really been interested in playing archers. The enigmatic songbird with razor sharp arrows, charged with protecting nature and her homeland. The archer's long range and fast attack speed make her a reliable support in battle. Difficulty 2, difficulty 5, Bard. Huntresses deal continuous damage with elegant shooting techniques or use frenzied burst attacks to assassinate their target. And the Bard, difficulty 5, using various melodies and chain attacks to buff her allies and weaken her enemies. The Bard is the perfect party support. Okay, so what, what do we fancy? I would normally go for the Protector. Excuse me, I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on. I've got a sore throat and uh, snotty nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say I'd normally go for that. Uh, I really don't like playing assassins and rogues. Guardian. Uh, 
The Guardian could also recover vitality from her attacks. Now that sounds interesting. Also good looking as well. <laughs> you can always tell when it's an Asian MMO, can't you? Certain assets are always, um, shall we say, up front. <laughs> I oh, know, the, the, the child. Right, uh, what shall we do? I'm going to have a look at this, I think, the Guardian. I don't know when you get to choose that, obviously you don't get to choose this. Next, let's have a look. As you can see, the assets uh, have a certain jiggling. <laughs> okay. Uh, choice of outfits. I don't think these apply when you're actually in game. They're just to show you what they look like, I think. Yeah. But we'll have a look anyway. Hats. Nice. Okay. And wings. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, none of that. Oh! Didn't realise you could do that. Very interesting. Right, let's put that back on. Oh dear, I feel like an old man should be looking at things like that. Alright. Hair. Get all the choices before we decide. That's some interesting stuff here. Now, what's all that all about? Can't see where you're going. Um. That looks pretty cute, doesn't it? And that does. Uh, guess what colour hair we're going to do? There we go. <laughs> I think we knew what was happening there straight away, didn't we? Face, let's have a look. Okay. Quite like that one, the first one. No, no. It's a bit miserable, doesn't it? Let's have a little bit of a smile if we can find one. Or a pout, at least. That'll do. A bit poutish. Uh, skin colour. Well, you get a blue skin? Really? I'll stick with that, I think. Alright, eyes. Wow, look at this. They have that. Hmm. No. They really do uh, know what to do on the character creation screens of these Asian animals. I really do like them. Uh, I think we'll have some of that. I like that. Uh, body. Body size. Uh, bit on the tiny side, I think. Leg, leave them long. Head. Does that look normal to you? Looks all right with me. I'm very surprised there's no um, boob slider. There normally is in these games. Uh, right, so then what do we need to call this lady? Um, Shall we go with the 
Silver S. Not quite like that name, I use that a lot. Hmm, <laughs> check it. Name is available. Okay. Right, so let's see what happens after this then. Creation complete. Create a character with this name. Yes, please. And there we have you. A bit, bit of a change in the old uh, outfit there. I've created this character on the US servers as well, uh, Requiem. I've really done that this morning because I thought it'd be nice and quiet. There wouldn't be uh, as many people running about because I know this is like a uh, new open. It's either open beta or it's been released. It'd be one of the two. I'm not quite sure which. Um, right, game start. Let us have a look at the intro. If it ever starts. Hello. Hello. Well, I think we have a problem, Houston. Oh. In the beginning, gods and giants, bound by blood and hate, fought one another for supremacy. In the end, the giants succumb to the gods. And the world was soiled with their blood. Threatening to corrupt the world tree, source of all creation. Only by fusing her spirit with the world tree could the goddess Frigg prevent the unthinkable from happening. Despite her sacrifice, an evil force followed on the giant's trail, determined to destroy all life. You, Soul Keeper, have been chosen by the gods. Only you can stop this evil. Are you ready to meet your destiny? Oh, yes, indeed. Of course I am. That was very good, that there, this, this slider for the uh, intro music, uh, in the intro, which is very good. Because sometimes you get logged into these games and you, you start the intro off and the, the intro music is out of this world. Blows your head off. Right, here we go. Um, login bonus, collect the daily bonus. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Have some of that. I'll take it. Eyes inventory. Uh, what does this do? Required to be revived on site. Use automatically when, when revived on site. No idea what that means. Frigg's blessing. <laughs> doesn't sound very good, does it? Lavina's gift box. Level 5. What's that? Practice bandage. Alrighty then. And there we are. Right. What have we got here? Welcome to the world of Echo of Soul. This tutorial will take you through the basic game mechanics. The top of your game screen displays basic info about your character, such as name, level, and current HP. The mini-map in the upper right corner gives you information about your surroundings, such as the location of NPCs and quests. Beneath the map, you'll find more detailed information about your current quests and how to complete them. Use the menu to access windows such as character info, Achievements, quest list, skills, souls, dungeons, PvP, game options, community, or the cash app. Info that you'll need for battle, such as your character's level and HP, are displayed at the bottom of your screen. You can place skills and items in quick slots to save time in the heat of battle. Get social with your Soul Keeper comrades by making small talk in the chat window to the bottom left of your screen. Above the chat window is your party window. Once you've joined a party, you'll be able to quickly check in your party members' HP and stats. 
Okay, was it me or did he sound totally bored out of his head? <laughs> right, Use one. the W, Ooh. S, A, and D <sighs> keys to move your character around the world of Echo Soul. To jump, press the space bar. The F key can be used for a variety of different actions, such as collecting items or talking to NPCs depending on the situation. You can also use the mouse to move. Simply right click on a location. And your character will move there automatically. All right, okay. Hold down the left mouse key and move the mouse to change the camera angle. You can also zoom the camera in and out using the mouse wheel. Pressing down on the mouse wheel button will cause your character to run forward. Okay, is this is it an action MMO? This, and I wish, just for once, to, for de developers, please. Put a left-handed option in. Either put in the arrow keys as an option, or put in like something like OKL, OK you know, something like that. Just for the left-handed people in the world, instead of WASD, because I cannot use that. Okay, that's my rant over with. Thank you. I get rid of that. The only way to fully experience the massive world of Echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a quest, right? Okay. When you want to chat with yes, your fellow yes, soul yes, yes. keepers, click enter. Right. Press the enter key. To <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, uh, options. There we go. Now, unless I want to use the uh, the mouse to move, I'm going to have to put some uh, hotkeys. No, that's not what I want. System. Oh, maybe it is. Hotkeys. Hotkey settings. No. Nope. Movement and actions. Alright, for the time being, forward, backwards, left, right, jump. <laughs> right, those will have to do for the time being, I think. Yeah, there we go. Quest, right click, I take Welcome. it. Yes. Accept. Captain Delos. We'll need your help. Thank you very much. There's a big question mark there to where I've got to go next. Which is... Not that way. This way. Wow, that's a big spear. And what have I got here attack-wise? Attack. That's just basic. Siphon spear. Regen's 5 Vitality. Okay, that's going to be one to use. F1. Perform a diving somersault. Why is that on F1? Alright, that, that's slightly confusing me, I must admit. Could you help me? Yes, I can help you. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Complete, thank you. Okay. Training spear. Accept. Uh, kill Darklith Trooper, kill Darklith Fighter. Oh, right, okay. Tab target. Unlocked a new achievement. Soul sighting acquired first Chaos Soul. Okay. Right, uh, there's tab target, which is very strange. I don't get that. Why, why is that too different? Hmm. Right. This combat feels a bit weird. It's not action. It's not exactly ever questy, if you know what I mean. Luckily, they go down pretty quick. Crap. 
practice bandage. I didn't check the other corpses. I'm getting it done then. Nope. Deal damage equals 84 percent of the attack. Oh, what are you shooting at me then? <laughs> Could you help me? Yes, I can help you. Looks like I'm getting a new spear there. Oh, ding! So look at that. Training spear, attack three. All right, what's the difference? Slightly confused there. Um, right, one uh, rescue Raya residence. Hello. So really, I could just spam three. Oh, come loot. Because that gives me uh, regen's five vitality. Rescuing. How can I ever repay you? Thank Odin. Oh, okay. Is this a, a Norse mythology game? I didn't realize that. Well, let's kill you while we're here. This healing portion. Alright, oh, okay. Slightly concerned about the uh, the movement. Is there any way I can change it? I wonder. I'll we'll have to have a look at that. Not a quest that I didn't take. Graphics aren't bad. Not bad at all. Me. Mission impossible. Completed. You learned lightning launch. Why, why is that blanked out? <laughs> That's real, that really is uh, confusing me, that. Lunging attack that deals damage equal to 196% of attack. Very nice. Now, I'd like that to be my number one. The K key opens up the skill window. You can also use it to save skills to quick slots for easy access during battle. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, path selected at level 10, so you have to decide then which way you want to go. So we'll see what he's got for us. Yes, what is it? Cool. We'll have to do that because we're getting you a new breastplate or chest item. Is he going to attack? No, he's not. The function of the F key changes based on the situation. Oh, okay. Use it to talk to NPCs, collect items. Yes, okay. Uh, Alright, I've got what I needed. I've got two of them. That is all I need.
I'm slightly surprised at this many people on me. I mean, this is early in the morning in America. Or late, it's very late at night. Yes, what is it? Complete. Thank you very much. Aye. Very nice. Can you sell these? Are any any value on them? It doesn't say. Request. Could you help me? All righty. Well, I think that will do it for the first episode, folks. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you do like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. If we get enough likes, then maybe we'll continue with the series. I'll look at it and go a little bit further. In the meantime, I'm going to have a look and see if I can change any of the options to suit the way I play a bit better. Alright, thanks very much, guys. This is Old Grey signing off.